Oh, there's two part types of people: one who makes excuses and one who goes vegan. Yeah. Well, listen. I'm vegan gonna... Veganism's dumb. So here we are back out here in Manchester. We've got the same sign. There's no argument against being vegan. Prove me wrong. Obviously there are scenarios where it's impossible to be vegan, survival, you know, you can't choose what you eat. You're in some situation where, you know, you can't get vegan food some place in the desert or something like that. But I'm talking about right here, right now in the UK, the person who sits down, why aren't they vegan and what's their argument for that? Let's do it. To approve. Yeah, like I think people should. I think it's good for the environment and oh, really? I think it's good for the environment and I've watched Earthlings as well. Have that you? yeah. I've been vegan I've been vegetarian for since I was sixteen, so nearly five years. Okay. So just the cheese I can't get rid of, even though I don't like the way it's produced. Well, what about vegan cheese? I hate it. It's, Every single type? It's, I just hit, oh, I just don't like it. It's like, um, I can't remember what it's called, but I just don't like it. It's like, just plain. I don't know. Which types did you try? I want to know if you've tried them all. Uh, I've definitely not tried them all. Like, okay. via life? I don't like via life. But I'm still vegan. Yeah. Because I found some cheese that I like. I like that from from Tesco's. Have you tried that? No, I haven't. I say I have. Yeah. I want to ask this. Do you, do you think, like, you don't like the, the vegan cheese, but the animals don't like to be exploited and killed? So, yeah. how do you weigh that up? Like, I don't know. I weigh it on my guilt. If I, I weigh it on my own guilt. Like, if, because I feel guilty eating an animal, but I don't feel guilty for eating cheese or milk. Well, let's unpack that because, like, why do you feel guilty for an animal to be slaughtered so you can eat their body, but all the dairy cows are slaughtered so someone else can eat their body? And that's the, da the dairy industry is doing that to them. I'm just not educated enough. It, I guess. Yeah, I've not looked into the production of, of dairy. Yeah, I've not looked into it enough. I've got footage here. I come prepared. Uh, you, don't, you don't have time? Do you want to watch it? She's not vegetarian. Do you want to see what happens in the dairy industry in the UK? It just tastes nice, so I don't care anyway. <laughs> so you wouldn't care if animals are abused because it tastes good? I mean... <laughs> well, regardless if I eat it or not, the next person's going to eat it, so they're going to die anyway. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could say that, like, people are going to be killed anyway, so regardless if I kill them or not, they're still going to die anyway. Like, I might as well just keep killing them. Might as well not still stop killing people. People are always going to be killed. I've said I would go, like, vegetarian if... Me doing it meant that no animals would die, but either way they're going to get killed. So why do we kill them? Like, well, it. well, dogs are always going to be abused. I mean, but that doesn't mean you, you shouldn't stop abusing dogs yourself. I, 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 stop, I don't abuse dogs because of my contribution to dog abuse. So I don't eat animal products or use animal products because of my contribution to animal abuse. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just, I don't know. Just I can't hear you. What, what did you say? They're just going to die either way, so... Well, humans are going to die either way as well. <laughs> what I'm saying to you is people die in war, they die of starvation, they die because uh, people, other people kill them. That doesn't mean you go around killing people because people are going to die anyway. I'm talking about your personal accountability, your responsibility, yeah, the blood that's on your hands when you go out and eat these animal products. and Because you know about supply and demand chain, how you're causing these industries to exist, yeah? Yeah, yeah I do, I know that. Like, that's why I feel like if I'm making my own, like, co like if I'm putting input to not doing it, then I do like the fact that I don't eat it. Yeah, but the 50% of the beef in this country, 50%, like half the beef, yeah. comes from sort of dairy cows. Uh, 
So like, no I do try. Honestly, I do try go vegan a lot. I do. I do, I've actually tried like four times this year, and I did do. Yeah, I've done two. I did two months in January. Then I did another month in. Um. Like two months yeah, two together. months of vegan as well. So, I was gonna it's show okay. You, I was just going to show you like how, how dairy's made. So this is a male. Oh, they put an electro ejaculator in their yeah, bottom. Is it is it is it semen. true that they like make them preg Is it true that they make them pregnant? Okay. So well, they can. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Like he's they've taken the semen, they forced him to ejaculate. Now they're sticking their their entire arm inside of the anus of the cow to hold her cervix so they can put the pipette full of bull semen inside of her to forcibly impregnate her. Is that so they can create that so they can So they can create a child, like a calf, and then take that calf away because if oh, they yeah, leave the I calf with the mum... Yeah. You're fucking eating it. I don't like this. <laughs> wait, wait a second, wait a second. They're taking the calves away because if they leave the calf with the mother, the calf will drink the milk, but they want to sell the milk to you guys. Oh no. So, and this is in the UK? But why? Well, this here is um, on UK dairy farms. They can use the males, generally. They can, but they generally don't. So they shoot them on the farm. So they shoot them in the head. Um, and that's legal standard practice here. 90, 000, I think it's about 90,000 are shot on the, in the head on the farm each year in the UK. And this is a, this is a, a dairy calf slaughterhouse. Fuck off. That's, a, that's for dairy? Yeah. I honestly didn't know this that happened. Filmed, this was filmed in Australia, but they're not using the males as well in Australia. I like. didn't think people died for dairy. I thought they only died for the meat. Yeah, I thought they kept dairy cows, Where? honestly. Where are they going to keep them? Like, in farms. They only produce milk for a certain amount of years, then they become unprofitable. They, they, they're How long does a cow live for when they're, when they're being... When well, for dairy, they live about between four and seven years. Uh, but they live, their, their lifespan's about 25, but a beef cow might live for 18 months and they're slaughtered. But, um... It's just grim, isn't it, as well? Like, the fact that it's lats near their bum and, like, poo and stuff like that. It's just grim, isn't it? Well, this, is a, this is a dairy cow being slaughtered. So they exploit her reproductive organs, her, steal her breast milk, steal her children, then they murder her and for her body. That's awful. Dude, I'd feel so, like, just because I think I couldn't kill my own, I couldn't kill an animal myself, so why would I kill it? Like, why would I let someone else kill it? Well, you're, you're paying someone to kill them for you when you buy all these dairy products over your course of your life. I do try and go vegan. I do promise, like. You look like you can't watch that. It is horrible. Yeah. But, but, it ta but cheese tastes good. I don't eat cheese actually. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> Too many calories. You mean you don't yeah. you don't eat cheese now? No, I don't really like cheese. <laughs> no. No. Chicken, it's chicken I like the most. Yeah, yeah, birds. You yeah. Eat, yeah, birds. What about Christmas time? You're gonna be eating turkeys? Don't like turkey. Oh no, not roast today. No. Nah. But turkeys are so chickens are one of the most exploited and killed animals on earth. Um after fish, fish are the most, but yeah. Fish? Yeah. But I don't know, like, it just... I can't eat, I <laughs> <laughs> oh. so these are who you're eating. I see, see, I told you about this, didn't I? How they, like, when they die, they just leave them there to, like... You, you, when you eat a chicken, they're about six weeks old. They're only babies. Oh. That when a chicken, when you eat a chicken. Yeah, when, when you eat a, a broiler chicken, they're about six weeks old. Wow. So they're ducks in the UK because they should be on water, so they... Yeah. This is our semen collection for turkeys. Because they can't mate themselves, so they uh, artificially do it. That's funny, that. <laughs> they're also ugly. Chicken tastes good, that's my opinion. Chicken tastes good. Chickens taste good? Yeah, yeah, tastes good. Yeah. You're eating uh, like slaughtered baby chickens. They're about 42 days old. They taste good. Yeah. I mean, do you think... Do you not like KFC? No, I used to, yeah. I agree with you, innit? I used to. I do agree with you. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. You, you don't think that I like the taste of KFC? No, do you? I used to, yeah. But like, a lot of things feel good that hurt other people. I don't want to do them. A lot of things feel good that hurt animals. I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? They're going to die anyway. 
Like, it doesn't hurt. Well, you're gonna die anyway. I don't want to torture you and kill you because you taste good. Yeah. Just kill me quick. Horrible. If I fried you up like KFC, you'd probably taste good too. I wouldn't do it to you though. Uh, I would, if I die, please make me into Are you against animal cruelty? I'm against you. You are? Animal yeah, cruelty, yeah. yeah. But you, wait, wait, wait a second, you like KFC? Yeah, but that's not the point. I'm saying yeah, it it's food. Uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Be honest. It's not animal cruelty for animal cruelty. Be, be honest, it's when, you pay for, when you pay for KFC, you're paying for animal cruelty. Yeah, but it's not, I'm not paying. Listen to me, mate, you, you, you know what I'm talking about. It's good supply sure. and demand. Let, let me explain. I, how I feel about it is, you're paying to get food, you're paying to eat. A product of that food is cruelty, so your friend here is trying to be honest with himself. You're trying to find a way out. I'm not trying to I'm, find a way out. Are. There's two part types of people. One who makes excuses and one who goes vegan. Yeah. Well, listen. I wanna, veganism's dumb. I want to ask you. It's, dumb, I wanna, it? I wanna, I wanna, it's about being anti-animal abuse. That's what veganism no, is. No. Yes, it is. I've been a vegan for seven years. Yeah, but that's... So I know what veganism is. Yeah, but it's not. because it's, it's a position against the exploitation and cruelty to animals. That's all it is. Towards animals because I want to eat. Do you know what I mean? What am I... Well, you eat plants. I'm not eating plants. Why not? They taste like ass. What, vegan burgers taste like ass? Yeah. Have you had them? No, they taste, no, they taste, taste a, beyond, a beyond burger? Yeah, right off. It tastes fine. Quorn Quor tastes all right. So but taste over life then? Yeah. Taste over the animal suffering. Yeah, they're gonna so die you, anyway. you think, oh, you're gonna die anyway. Should we kill you? Yeah, when I We've die. We've gone through this. I don't, I don't think it's right. It's not that like they're care. gonna die. Look at the way they're dying. They're dying in like- Well, that's cool. not my fault. They're not dying naturally. If you went and ate- They, they, they could just shoot them all and they'd all be dead. Well, we could. <laughs> yeah, but no, Do, you, do what do you think of his position here? Shoot them all? I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I still think that it's okay to eat animals, but okay. I don't think they should be. I think they should kill them in a, a different way. A humane way? Well, I mean, you could say there's no humane way to How kill, but kill I think uh, it could be done differently so they, they don't, they don't realize, uh, they don't realize the suffering. I mean, we, it, when we talk about ethics and like when you talk about murder in the court of law, if you killed someone without them realizing it would still be murder, we'd still hold them accountable for that, yeah? Well, uh, yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't hold animals at the same uh, value as humans. You don't have to. You just have to hold them higher than your the, the, your taste preferences or your convenience. Just their lives over that, that those two things. Yeah, but I th even the, even to differentiate between animals and plants isn't really totally fair because plants even have consciousness. Consciousness comes from the brain. Plants don't have brains. Well, no, you're you're locked into a, a, a mindset that just sees consciousness in terms of nervous systems. But plants, I know they're living organisms and they respond to stimuli in the environment. I know about that, but they don't feel anything because they don't perceive themselves. They don't they don't have a they, there's no subject in there, so they don't they don't need rights. We we don't know that for a fact. You know? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Uh, the Russians did experiments on animal on uh, plants. Um, Using a lie detector machine? Any, yeah, that, and also they've uh, shown that plants have memory in recent times. I know that, uh, I know that, but, but this computer has memory, the computer is not sentient. Well, uh, uh, you're, what I'm saying is you're making assumptions on the part of the plant. And no, it's scientific because peop, most scientists think that plant studies are paranormal studies. Take it in the mind of a plant. Why would a plant uh, react against somebody that's just killed it a day before if it didn't have some kind of feelings. No, no, it's a, it's a response, like a, they respond to stimuli, but they're not having a con... I do you don't know? believe that. I, I, I don't believe that. I think they, okay, so do you hold a carrot on the same uh, level as a human being? No more than I hold, uh, no more than I hold, uh, an yeah, I don't, I don't no more than I hold a cockroach on the same level. So, I would say a co cockroach has more complex experience than a carrot. Uh, I would say that a pig has more complex experience than a carrot. Bet on that. I wouldn't bet on it, especially with uh, something like a Venus flytrap. Can I ask you a question? So you said uh, animals should be killed in a nicer way. Do you think carrots should be killed in a nicer way? Well... Uh, no, wait, wait, I, want to, I want to find out if you really think plants feel pain. Well, I, I think there is some some form of consciousness. Okay, so humane slaughter of carrots, that's what you'd advocate for? You'd want slaughter guidelines for carrots? Well, I think you're really muddling the, the issue. What I'm saying oh, no, is no, no, what no. I'm saying is that there's you you can't make a um, uh, there isn't a, a clear dis a distinction in terms of consciousness between plants and animals. Simply because 
they are, they don't have nervous systems doesn't mean they don't feel pain. But, you know. Uh, well, uh, I well I contest that they don't have nervous system or brain functioning um, pain receptors. They don't um, they don't ex they don't even have a biological way of escaping pain because they haven't evolved to because they don't need to. But fish and and animals they all have a way of escaping pain. They suffer. Plants can't suffer because there's no individual inside of their suffering. Well, like I say, they, they've shown that uh, some plants actually do respond in that well, so, way. They try so to when you cut a tomato, um, I'm, I'm sure you do it really quickly so they don't feel it. No, what I'm saying is they they have a re they form a response and they they they. It doesn't matter. So does this computer when I tap it. It doesn't mean that it's a, a sentient being. Well, plants have shown their ability to respond. I never said they didn't. I never said they didn't. So the computer won't respond on its own. Well, well, plants are, are living, aren't they? But they're not sentient or conscious. There's no be there's no being in there that deserves uh, moral consideration. Well, that's where we differ, okay? Because you think that you think there should be humane slaughter guidelines for pigs, but you don't think there should be humane slaughter guidelines for t potatoes. I'm not sure how I'd go about that, you know, if I was choosing. But for pigs, I can I can make a distinct. I can actually think of a way to do it. Who suffers more, a potato or a pig? Well, I don't know. I'm not in the. I can't. I can't okay. get it. Okay. Well, I'll say a pig. And if someone tortured a pig, I'd be the first to defend the pig. If someone cut up a potato, I don't care. I think that's nonsense. Uh, the scientific community is against um, plants having consciousness, but they do say they respond and react to stimuli. They have. They do remember things. Like they, they do, they do. Like if a if a drop of water lands on a leaf, the leaf might know that that drop isn't going to harm it, and it might stay there. But that doesn't mean that the plant is a thinking, feeling, conscious being who has emotions and wants and desires and needs. Excuse me, have you seen? No, I don't want to interrupt. No, it's okay. We talked about plants feeling pain, but um, you might still think that a carrot deserves rights. I mean. Like I say, I, 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 I put, I put those plants on a similar level to what I would insects. Okay, I, or, ba or bacteria for that matter. Bacteria is not sentient. So in my gut, yes it is. Protozoa, protozoa are, they, they respond to stimulus. Germ, germs aren't sentient. I don't know what you'd think sentience is, but like... There, there, is, there is some primitive sentience even in protozoa. Yep. I don't think a germ's the same as a dog or a pig, so. Well, that's right. That's right. And I don't think it. I don't think a plant. You know, I don't think of plants or lower, lower organisms the same way. I don't think a carrot's the same as a dog. If someone tortured a dog, I'd attack them probably, defend the dog. But I don't think carrots can be tortured. I mean, if you think that that you can have that position, but I don't. I don't I hold that position. I exist. Where I disagree with you chaps is in the area of animal experimentation. I, I think we need to have animal experimentation. Well, we can talk about that, but do you need a bacon sandwich? I'm vegetarian, but... Okay, dairy and eggs still... I do eat dairy sometimes. Yeah, yeah well, we just went through the dairy industry with these guys. All this, yeah. Do you need a cheese burger or a cheese sandwich or a cheese and crackers? Once or twice a year. So what I'm saying is, is that I don't think uh, that type of suffering is that bad. But Good talking to you. Hey, hey. Hey, plus. Bless you. Hey, take one of these. If you you guys had this discussion, I don't know if you think carrots feel pain. I agree with you. I, I agree with you. I do agree with you. However, like... I don't know. It's like meat, meat in it. Uh, I enjoy eating meat. I'm not going to. Are you going to change? Are you going to stop? Are you going to stop eating meat? I'd like to. 